today we're gonna look at how Draymond Green uses the Golden State Warriors swing motion offense and Golden State Warriors elite defense to get himself as many assist opportunities as possible in real life. That's right family, this is episode 1 of Sam Fam on NBA. I'm gonna break down how Draymond Green uses the team's offense, defense, and his own individual scoring abilities to open up himself tons and tons of assist opportunities throughout the course of a game. So you can consider this uh, my first episode of me breaking down real life NBA clips. I actually do a lot of scouting myself to create 2K tutorials. So maybe once a week I'll do an episode like this on an NBA topic that interests me through the week and I'll make something like this. I'll show you guys clips and I'll break it down for you. So if you want to see more of this, add me a like or let me know how you feel in the comment section. So for further delay, let's take a look how Draymond Green lately has been getting so many assists throughout every game. Now one really interesting note is that a lot of his half-court assists that he gets is filled, is filled by this Golden State Warriors swing motion offense. And many of these assists Actually, almost more than 80% of them, Draymond gets the assist without taking one damn dribble. All right, no dribbles and he gets the assist. So you can take a look at some clips of how he's getting them via the swing motion from the three-point arc. Here, Clay kicks it to Draymond. He holds it. He waits for the back cut. See, no dribble, assist. All of these half-court assists that, get, that Draymond gets on top of the three-point arc coming out of the swing motion, it's created by his teammates moving around off ball. Draymond is not taking any dribbles. Look at that! Mm. No dribbles, assists. It's a very, very modernized version of how pe like power forwards can get assists in today's NBA. Because normally when you think assists, it's tons of dribbles, pound the ball, penetrate, kick it out. Not Draymond Green in Golden State. He catches it again and he just finds the off ball movement. Look at the beautiful pin down to Clay there. All of his assist opportunities in the half court, a lot of the time, is created by his teammates for him. So that is a very interesting concept. If you ever inspire to play like Draymond Green, you pretty much always need to play as a team. Draymond is not pounding the ball, getting in the seams, kicking it out. He's not doing any of that. He literally is just not moving. His team is moving for him and he makes the precise pinpoint pass. Kind of like a quarterback, but even then he's not even moving. So credit goes to his team for that. And here you can see clips of him getting assists via swing motion, but this time from both the high post and the low post. And once again, no dribbles. Look, it's not even cuts in via the high post, assists. Here, Iggy goes to Draymond. That's a middle post, high post, low post. Kick it to Marie Spades with some off-ball movement. No dribbles again. In this game, there was no curry, so Draymond got the ball a lot. And here you see a pin down. Ian Clark was playing great this year. Bangity bang, 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 Ian Clark. And this one is crazy. The ball didn't even touch the ground. No dribble for the whole team and we get an assist. Okay, pull up. Bang! Woo! The no dribble nature of this was very surprising to me. I didn't notice it before, but there it is. Draymond Green with the no dribble half court assist out of Golden State's swing motion offense. All created by teams cutting and screening. Awesome. The ball isn't even moving. Everybody else is. That's innovation, family. That's new age basketball. Now, and another thing that helped Draymond so much in getting these half-court assists is that he can actually score from all of the positions where he assists from. Remember, he's assisting without dribbling, but at the same time, he can score in those spots. So this allows the Draymond to keep the defense, keep the passing lanes honest. Think Rondo. He can't shoot, so people sack off to take away passing lanes. With Draymond, he gets to his passing assist spots, but he, since he can score from there, the defense got to play him honest, and this opens way more passing and assist opportunities for him. So you can see here, Draymond scoring out of the top of the three-point arc out of swing motion. Catch, pull up free ball. He's shooting close to 40% this year, so he is a reliable, deadly shooter from three. You can see it again here on top of the three-point arc out of swing motion. Just catch and go. Once again, not much dribbling for him. Here, he back cuts out of the high post, so that also opens up more scoring opportunities. And because of all this, he puts it down on the floor here. You need to respect Draymond when he has the ball. So you can't back up and take away passing lanes, which in turn gets him tons of more passing opportunities. Here, he just takes it off the dribble from the three-point arc and drives it all the way in. Let's go, Draymond. So 
because of the fact he can score and he can assist before taking a dribble, the fact that he can score from the same spots makes it even deadlier for him if he wants to make a pass. And this makes it even more harder for the defense to deal with. Beautiful, beautiful basketball by Draymond without dribbling all that much. That's awesome. Now, at the same time though, Draymond Green also gets assists while he dribbles. But his dribble assist usually comes from uh, transition opportunities. And those transition opportunities are fueled by team defense. So you can take a look at some clips here where the Warriors show up the elite defense. Draymond grabs the rebound and off he goes. Lost the dribbles, yes. But that was on a team defense situation. And Draymond Green is allowed to run the transition in fast break. So that's crazy if you think about it. He's a power forward. But there he is once again with the team defense. Leads to more dribbling transition assist by Draymond. Here he once again grabs the defensive rebound. And look, he's not looking to pass. He's looking up court and he's going straight down. This assist was crazy the other night. Oh man. And there you can see Houston playing incredibly lazy transition. But hey, Draymond knows. He spots it and he kills you with it. He takes advantage of defensive rebounds. Even if he doesn't grab it, he actually gets the outlet pass. And he runs the offense in transition. Field by Golden State's awesome defense. Bang, 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 Clay Thompson. And here you can see again James Harden with the pull up, plays lazy, doesn't get back on D. Draymond knows, Draymond sees, Igudala, throw down. So all of these clips are actually fueled by the team defense. So if you put it all together, Draymond gets assists on the offensive end because of team movement, and he gets assists in transition because of team defending together as a group. And here, this is, this is all him though. He grabs the rebound, kicks it back out. So sometimes his individual ability kicks in, much like his scoring. So overall, his assist is created by the team offense and defense. And at the same time, he helps out his own cause with his scoring ability and incredible hustle. So that's why this man gets so many assists. He just, he just can't outwork him. And you can't outwork his team. Now, there are times where he does dribble and assist, you can see here, but that's even, even then, it's only like one or two dribbles tops. And here you can see another clip where he runs a pick and roll. Rare, but it happens, but that's just terrible defense by uh, the Rockets. Great cut, great pass though. So he does assist other dribbles, and here, this time he's in the post, and he pounds the ball a couple of the times. But in these two games, out of like all seven, 14 or 16 assists he got, only those three, he did it with a dribble. The rest, no dribble assist in half court or transition dribble assist because of the defense. So this is beautiful, honestly. I have never really ever seen a power forward assist in this manner ever in my life. So watching this has been great. So if you guys enjoy the Sam Fam on NBA show where I discuss clips and just an aspect of the game that interests me throughout the week, let me know if you want to see more. I'll probably do one of these a week and tons more 2K tutorials coming. I hope you enjoy this. As always, thanks for coming by. Let me know how you feel about the this kind of format, and yeah, I'll see you next time. He goes to the left there. That's just a lot.